What's going on YouTube? My name is Musaki and today we're gonna go over the month of February in this episode of Clairvoyancy X. Let's jump into it. First up, we got the item exchange ticket for February. In this month, we got Arrowhead of Malice, Great Knight Medals, and the Stake of the Whale of Night. My new player suggestion will be pick up the Knight Medals. We have a lot of sabers and a lot of early units that actually use these Knight Medals, and that should be very helpful to you. Otherwise, check out the servers you want to level, look at the materials that they need, and if they match, pick up the ones that you need when you log in. Next up, we have the Valentine's event for 2022. It actually started not too long ago, and you guys should be in the full swing of it, getting chocolate for your favorite server and climbing that point ladder. That's right, it's a point ladder. Don't worry, it's not gonna be like the last ladder that we just got done with in January. No, this is a little bit different. We actually go over this in more details in an event guide, which I will link to at the end of the video. For all my new players out there, the event craft essence for this event is very good. It applies sure hit, increases MP strength by 10%, and it begins the battle with 30% MP charge. Early on, it's going to be very difficult to find CEs to actually give you starting MP gauge, so the fact that the event limited craft essence gives that means that this event is very good for you. If you don't have to roll gotcha, you just got to play the event, and you got some CEs. Now, if you're lucky enough to max limit break this, this will be an MP charge of 50%, which again, it's very helpful. Also increasing MP strength. The fact that applying sure hit is on this CE will also be very helpful for very difficult enemies that you're gonna face down the line. So this is something that everyone should pick up regardless of your skill level. Two more things to keep in mind is that we have two servants with rank up quests, Marie Antoinette and Julius Caesar. Now both of these buffs are very good, but Caesar's buff in particular is insane and has the output to outclass even Okita Soji as a quick single target saber, much to my dismay. Regardless, if you have these servants, definitely go ahead and upgrade them, because not only do you get same course, it does make the servant even better. Talking about the summoning banner now, and just like every Valentine's event out there, the summoning banner is going to rotate, with the main Valentine's servant always being on every banner, but also sharing a secondary five-star unit, female and non-limited. Sorry guys. So it's gonna be very imperative that you check this calendar, that you check to see if your favorite server is on rate up, and if you have the course to roll for them. Some of these servers don't have many individual rate ups, and some of these servers are very good on their own. We have Artoria Pendragon Lancer, Jack the Ripper, Quetzalcoatl, to name just a few. So if you need any of these servers, you're planning to roll for them, Please check this calendar. You can find it either on the Fate Grand Order website, which is fate-go.us, or you can check out the Summoning Banner page and hit more info. But let's talk about some fun stuff, shall we? As NA does, they are pushing up the schedule so they can meet getting all these events in time for their anniversary in July. So as a consequence, we should definitely see something coming up very soon after the Valentine's event, and that is going to be the Download Campaign featuring your Resh Kigal. With these download campaigns, you can expect a few things to always come up. First of those is the login bonus. Make sure that you log in every single day consecutively so you can get all these wonderful goodies. For those of you who are listening and not watching, that's gonna be your silver and gold apples, your golden experience cards, 10 million QP, 10 silver foe cards, both for HP and attack, and then 10 summoning tickets on the last day. For those of you who are free to play, this is essential. You'll need those summoning tickets to help you summon for whatever unit you're trying to get in this game. The biggest part though, and the reason why Resh Kigal is featured on the banner, is because her Christmas event is actually gonna be introduced into the main interlude. So for those of you who missed it, this is now your chance to experience a story that came out in 2019, which was nearly three years ago. Wow. In order to complete this main interlude, you will need to clear Babylonia, and for a limited time, you will actually be able to go through the event free of charge. If you miss this window, which is generally about a week, maybe two, you will have to spend rare mana prisms to actually get this main interlude again. Now, in the future, they will be actually slowly making these main interludes free. So, you can either wait two years for that to happen, or just spend the rare mana prisms now. Thankfully, when they do come back later every free, they do refund you those rare mana prisms. But more importantly, more than just the story, it's the simple fact that you will actually be able to get Altera the Santa, which is a four-star archer. 
very good unit. So for those of you who missed that opportunity to get this unit, definitely take the chance. There's not many times that we're gonna get reruns for this, and she is gonna be an excellent unit to use, especially since if you are free to play, you're gonna need some good units that are gonna be fully leveled up, and all she needs is the event materials, which you can get in the main interlude. We also have some limited time master missions that's gonna give you a plethora of mana prisms, as well as a rare mana prism at the end, which you clear all of them. And of course, the normal double great and super success, half QP for serving and craft as is leveling up, and half all daily quests for Ember Gatherings. It's the perfect time to level up your service, is what I'm telling you. For the Mana Prism shop, we are getting the three star command codes, Lucky Beast and Crest of Humanity, each for purchase for 300 Mana Prisms. And in the rare Mana Prism shop, we actually get Caldia Tea Time back. Remember how that CE was not out for very long last year? Well, now you have a chance to get it again. It's gonna cost one rare Mana Prism to unlock the ability to purchase this. And then, as normal, it's gonna cost 1,000 regular Mana Prisms for each copy. If you don't have all the copies, you can still buy this, but you will only be able to buy enough to max limit break one. And if you already have one max limit broken, you can't get it again, so don't try. But you also will be able to get the Armament of Triumph command code, and that's gonna cost two rare mana prisms. So if you miss those and you have the mana prisms for them, definitely pick them up, they are worth it. And now we're in speculative territory. Because this Valentine's event happens so early, meaning the first two weeks of February versus the last two weeks of February, uh, we have more time for things to happen. And because it seems like they're in the market of compounding banners, then logically, the next thing that they're gonna try and squeeze into February before Olympus comes out in March will be this event here. This is an event that's happening alongside the Caldia Boys collection. And, this is the first of its kind. This is featuring Cersei and Odysseus, with the only requirement being clearing Fuyuki. Like normal, challenge quest at the end if you beat, if you defeated Solomon, and Odysseus is on raid up. He is a permanent five-star writer. And if you wanna know my thoughts on Odysseus, we actually have a writer tier list where we talk about every single writer up until the point that was released in 2021. So, Definitely give that a check out if you want to know what we thought. But if you like him, he is on Raid Up right here for the first time. He first introduced in Atlantis. So if you liked him in Atlantis, give him a shot. Very much like the Valentine's event, you will actually be able to roll with other units alongside Odysseus. So, Waver, Old Man Lee Shu Wen, Arjuna Ku Alter, Ozyman Day as Achilles, you see what I'm saying? All permanent male units in this game. No limited units, but it does include story locked, which is why you see old man Lee in here, which is a very good one, I might add. And very similarly to the Valentine's event, if you need any of these and you want to, and you have the courts for it, this is a great time to pick these units up. A lot of them don't have many solo raid ups. Cool Ultra doesn't have many solo raid ups of his own. So take the time to go ahead and do that. And of course, with the Caldia Boys collection, you're gonna have a whole bunch of CEs with some of your favorite guys here. They all have their own unique abilities and honestly, it's up to you what you want. If you want your favorite art style, definitely choose that. If you want the ones with the effect, go ahead and choose that. It honestly depends on what you want. Cause yes, you can get at least one of these craft essences and the rest are going to be in the gotcha if you want more. You also have the ability to buy the limited craft essence shop from last year in case you missed it. And of course there is going to be a login campaign where you can earn so many tickets and this command code here, which honestly isn't that good, but for collection purposes, you might as well pick it up. Plus it might have some play later on. For the month of February, that's what you can expect. We have a lot of things coming down the pipeline, but if you're still doing the Valentine's event, definitely click this video right here. This is the guide that we have for Valentine's. It'll definitely help you out. See you around.